More concerns this morning after car break ins around the St. Louis region after multiple cars were found damaged or broken into. This happened after a recent Blues home game. We have the power of two's Chris Renier live downtown with what we're finding out about this this morning. Chris. Margin Blair, we are just outside the main entrance here to the Enterprise Center. The Blues at home tonight against the Nashville Predators. These recent break ins nearby may certainly raise some concerns for Blues fans going to the game. This latest incident unfolding after our reporting on mass car break-ins recently around the St. Louis region in general. This incident near the Enterprise Center happening back on October 28th. We talked with one Blues fan who came back to his car after that game to find it damaged. He parked in a lot between 16th and 18th Street owned by St. Louis Parking. That fan, who did not want to be named, says his car had multiple chips in the driver's side windows where it appeared someone might have been trying to break in. The man also says he noticed about 10 other cars either damaged or broken into in that same area. St. Louis police confirming they took five reports from people who say they parked in that same lot on the same night when they came back. They found their windows were damaged and or items were stolen. This all comes as we uncover more details about a troubling trend in our area, mass car break-ins. This week, we've been reporting on a staggering number of cars being broken into in large lots with many overnight workers. Police, in fact, reporting 164 break-ins recently in the Earth City area, more than 30 in St. Peter's, plus more than a dozen each in Fenton, St. Louis City, Soje, and Pontoon Beach. The St. Louis County Prosecuting Attorney Wesley Bell says a regional approach needs to be taken to combat the car break-in trend. We talked with Bell and that Blues fan. It's going to take me a little bit of time to build up the, the want and need to go back to a Blues game after this or a Cardinals game or downtown in general. The people that are committing these types of crimes are not adhering to borders and jurisdictions. Keep in mind, what is happening in town and country, they're not going to be privy to what's happening in Florissant, for example. And so this way we can start sh streamlining that information, sharing that information, and that just helps us uh, be more deliberate but make a bigger impact. We did reach out to both St. Louis Parking and the Blues organization about that October 28th incident. So far, we haven't heard anything back. For now, live downtown. I'm Chris Fournier.